Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Mercury. Welcome to my channel. It's my daily vlog, so whatever I'm up to, what you're gonna see here. And today, I am still at Walt Disney World, and I'm staying at Top Century Hotel. So I figured I would do a little hotel tour. So a lot of times people do these hotel tours during the day. I figure I'll do it at night. That way you get a different perspective of what it's like at the hotel in the evening. It's a little bit before nine o'clock, so we'll see what's going on. Here's where all the buses come to pick you up. And you'll see they have like the placards over here for both Epcot and Hollywood Studios. They want you to use the Skyliner. But during times of inclement weather, the Skyliner stops running. And at those times, then the buses will run instead. They also have this tip board, so to say, that shows you when the next bus is scheduled to arrive. And you can see it's about nine o'clock, almost, almost. This area is the front outside of Pop Century, outside the lobby. And that awning is where you would get dropped off if you're taking a motor coach or a taxi. That is the main entrance to the lobby. And that's where we're walking over and we'll go in through there. Also right at the entrance over here by this awning, there's also bell services. So if you get here early, like, and your room isn't ready yet, they can hold your luggage for you. How great is that? Okay, and this is the lobby. This is the entrance. You do have the option to do like a touchless check-in, so to say, and you will get a notification on your app and it'll tell you when your room is ready and you could just go right to your room and use either the app or your magic band to check in. But, the lobby has a lot of cool stuff. Look at all of this memorabilia. So don't miss out on this. Oh, this one. This one's like made for me. We got Rocky Horror, Star Wars, Shaft, and Bond. Oh man, good stuff. We, we know Disney at one point bought um, certain things from Fox, and part of that was Rocky Horror. So does that mean Frank is a Disney princess? Just saying. Just saying. At the end of the lobby is everything pops, shopping and dining, and we'll go in there in just a moment. But also, around the corner is the Fast Forward Arcade. Sorry. All sorts of video games. Pinball. Ooh, Guitar Hero. That's fun. Some racing games. Little bit of everything in here if you like to play games. Good way to kill some time. Back to everything pops. So this way is all of their merchandise when you first come in. A lot of the stuff that you'll see in many of the other Disney stores, uh, World of Disney and a lot of the shops throughout the parks. But if you forget to pick something up or you saw something you liked and you forgot to grab it, well this is a great, you know, backup. No guarantee that they'll have it, but just in case. Also, because it is a Skyliner Resort, they do have things that are, you know, representing the Skyliner. Socks, luggage tags. Cute. They also have a little section of, you know, stuff that you might have forgotten. Little sundries. You can get all that here, too. Then through here is the Everything Pops Food Court and they have different stations that have different things to eat. Just follow this around in here. Classic food court. First window is for mobile order pickup. You get that right there. The second window is for burgers. Third window is for pizza. And the fourth window is for more classic entrees, grilled chicken, grilled salmon, things like that. You can also get these refillable cups and then you get unlimited fountain drinks for your stay. And they also have beverages in the cooler, some pre-made salads, they have some bakery items, they have some parfaits, overnight oats, some cuties, and some desserts. So they have a little dome cake over here, it's a cheesecake. Cake. Another cupcake. Yeah. Then they have the fountain soda and creamer and coffee. 
and the other side has the soda stations. It's also good to know they do have a microwave and a toaster, so if you have like leftovers that you need to reheat, you can do that. I've actually needed to do that before when the dining plan was in full effect. Yeah, that, it, it always gave me way too much food and I'd end up bringing food back and having it the di next day and then having too much dining plan credits left. But that's a whole other story. But microwave and toaster were definitely helpful. There's this huge larger than life pop sign and it serves as an archway. Those doors come out just outside the gift shop and the arcade. And then if we turn around the other way, it's the hippy dippy pool. Now I'm not gonna get too close right now because there's still a lot of people swimming and I wanna be respectful of their privacy, but just know the hippy dippy pool is right there. Then over here is Petals, and Petals is just a little bar where you can pick up some beverages just outside, right by the pool. So the theme for Pop Century is exactly what it sounds like. It's a century of pop culture. So we are going back all the way to the 50s is where it starts. And it doesn't quite come up through present. So it's really talking about the 20th century of pop culture. And this is the map. So you can see it is a pretty sprawling hotel. So classic hall over here, this is where the main lobby is. So this was check-in, this was like the, the gift shop, this was the food court, that's all in classic hall. Then the buses that I showed you at the beginning, those go over here. And then we came out here and there was that big sign that said pop. And then I'm going this way, see so you are here. So I'm heading over to check out the 50s section. But look, we have 50s, we have 60s, we have 70s, we have 80s, and we have 90s. We got a lot of walking to do. Oof. Here we are in the middle of the 50s section. They have their own pool over here, but what this hotel is known for is these huge, larger than life, oversized icons for each of the building. We have Tramp on this side, and we can spin around. You see Lady behind the tree? Let's go say hi to Lady. There she is. What a perfectly beautiful little lady. And her doghouse is right here too. You can see it even has a little uh, like carpet for her to lay on. So this area is the 50s. I w I've stayed in the 50s once before and I had a room on the far side of the building that has the jukebox on it and there was a time I was like in my room at like fireworks time and like we started hearing pop 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 I was like what what's what am I hearing and we ran outside and right from that that spot you could see Hollywood Studios fireworks display which was part of like I guess the projections show on the Chinese theater I was able to see a little bit of it from right there not much not much it's not like a full view it's but it's an unexpected treat if you're not expecting it. So another thing that makes this larger than life in a lot of ways is the stairwells have an icon as well. So this is the building that had tramp and it has a bowling pin. And you can see we're also next to where we're switching into the 60s and that one has a yo-yo and that covers the stairwell. So all the rooms here are exterior facing. They do not have interior hallways or corridors. It's all exterior rooms. So those stairwells are the main way people get up and down. There is an elevator in each building. So don't fret, you don't have to take the stairs. They just are super convenient. They are also doing movies under the stars. So tonight they are playing up. You can see it's in reverse because I'm on the back side of the screen right now. But yeah, it's set up to play up. So I'm standing right next to the hippy dippy pool, right where they're doing the movie. They have up playing right next to me. But we have Baloo and Mobley. And then behind me, we have Play-Doh. And that is what represents the 60s. There's also a small splash pad over here to the right. But again, there's people in there right now, so I'm not gonna film it. Then at the very end of the 60s building, so we have the 60s yo-yo, this rotunda goes to the Skyliners. So you pick up the Skyliner right here. If you were to continue across the bridge, it goes over to the other hotel, the Art of Animation. 
they're that close. You can walk between them. I figured I'd come over here and show you the Skyliners launching at night. Look at them go. They're soaring across the lake. This one's coming in. Now I'm gonna follow the lake around and head over towards the 70s. So as we follow this path around, you can tell it's much quieter. So that's something to keep in mind if you're staying in the 60s building. There's a lot of hubbub because it's right by the main pool. They're playing the movie there. It's a lot more activity. So the other thing, the 60s building is considered to be the premium building, the premium rooms, because it's the closest to the lobby and it's the closest to the Skyliner. So, you know, in sort of picking what room you want, what room priority choice you want, because you have some options, you know, you can get a standard view, a pool room, or a premium room. Premium room, but there is some hubbub outside. And it's really pretty. This lake wraps around most of the resort sort of like an hourglass kind of with that choke point in the middle where the skyliner is and this just wraps around both sides and it's really calm it's really pretty and peaceful here and there were no like watercraft rentals or anything like that here there's no fishing out here so it's not you're not you're not going to see any water traffic on this lake so the 70s section is probably the most over-the-top section and I'll show you why. So a Mickey telephone is the icon here but in the middle is a giant foosball setup. There's the ball, there's all the, the characters. Oh, look at this. I mean for scale. Like giant foosball. And then the other icon is a big wheel. So the 70s area just looks like a lot of fun. Um, I'm not sure what room class it falls into because it is still fairly close to the lobby. So I'm not sure if they do consider this still a premium building or not. Also in the 70s section, there's Twister. Like you can actually play. So you have your board with all the dots and you have the spinner. Uh, right foot, blue yellow. Fell right in the middle there. Now it's time to visit my favorite friends. I have to say hello to these characters every single time I stay here. No matter what building I'm put in, I always have to stop by and say hello. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. It's great seeing you again. These have to be the biggest potato heads that I've ever seen. I don't know if they're the biggest ones out there, but they're huge. They're bigger than me. How you doing, Mr. Potato Head? Mrs. Potato Head. Behind the Potato Heads, we see Rubik's Cubes for the stair covers, which means we're in the 80s. So I am actually staying in the 80s section, and I got a standard room, and I got a standard room. So this is where I ended up. Uh, totally fine. It's actually like I cut across the parking lot to get to the lobby and it's like very close. It's not far at all. Uh, but in this section, the icons are going to be a Walkman and my pal and yours, Roger Rabbit. This is the oversized Walkman and we turn this corner here and my favorite rabbit living large right over here. That's right. Hey Roger, what's up? So the other thing is the 90s section kind of gets smushed in with the 80s. So we have our, a pool over here as well. Oh, there a Disney bunny. A Disney bunny just ran by, I got distracted, I'm sorry. So there's a pool over here as well, but, but you could see behind me, that's a laptop. But like an old school laptop. So that one building is the 90s building but Roger Rabbit and the Walkman are the 80s built. Okay, Roger, have a good night. Now I'm back in my hotel room. So a little bit of a time jump here. The room is in lived-in 
status. So on my first day when I got here and it was like freshly made and all, you know, pretty and, and perfect, um, I, I ran to Epcot that day because I was trying to get into the park by one o'clock to get my virtual, my virtual queue. So I didn't have time to do the room tour before I started living in the room. So I do preface it, this is lived in kind of, you know, status of the room. Um, I did opt for the light housekeeping option. So you can either opt out of housekeeping altogether or they come in every other day and they basically just empty your garbage pails and they do a towel change. So that's what I opted into. Um, if you notice the garbage pails are full, they emptied them today. And then when I came back, I ate my dinner here. <laughs> so I filled up the garbage cans again. So if you, if you notice that, I'm sorry. Okay, so this is right when you walk in. And to the left over here, we have, yeah, it's, it's not a refrigerator. They call it a cooler, a beverage cooler. But, you know, if you have leftovers, it seems to do the job. It says that it cools to 41 degrees. And then under here is just like a little extra tray of storage. And my sunglasses here. Then you have this coffee maker. Um, it's not a K-cup, but it is like the individual pouches and they do give you the 50th anniversary blend of coffee, as well as the Joffrey's Artisan Roast. And they do give some tea and other coffee accoutrements. And then your cups are right here, so you have your coffee cups, and then your little drink cups or your mouthwash cups. And then the top shelf is your ice bucket. Also, the thermostat is right here. Have it at a cool 72. Oh, and there's also the outlet and the light switch right there. Okay, then we move into the room more. It's a huge TV. So, I mean, this, this is a huge, huge TV for the space. <laughs> you know, you will not be wanting for, for TV size. So that's the TV. And then obviously there's a ton of counter space. I have my hip pack, I have my ears out. Uh, the, the glass is from when I was with my sister. It's just traveling. I have my cameras charging over there. But on each side, there are power ports. And you can see I have my GoPro and everything charging over here. If you remember when I went to Typhoon Lagoon, I said my GoPro was injured. The, uh, the door broke off. And it's fixable. I just don't have a, a replacement door. And that means it wasn't waterproof for, uh, for that. So that's, that's where we are with that. Um, then in here, a huge amount of storage and you also have a safe. And then you have a few really large drawers. Those are all over there. And then here's the bed my fluff on each side you can see I have my cell phone charging over here bedside phone and then you have the same configuration of two outlets two USBs and there's also storage underneath that so since we're over here by this phone I do want to mention when I stay at the Disney hotels I love doing wake-up calls as opposed to just setting the alarm on my phone um, I mean in reality I do both but when you do a wake-up call you get called by a character. So every day this week, I have been woken up by Mickey Mouse calling me, which I think is just adorable and I love it. You know, if I have to wake up early, at least it's Mickey waking me up. And then over here, that's my laptop, you know, vloggers gotta edit. So we have like this little table, which is great for if you wanna bring some food back, but watch this magic. Watch, I gotta move this stuff though. Are you ready? So there's another bed here and Pluto is guarding it. So if you do need two beds and you walk into a room and you're like, oh, there's only one bed. No, there, there's actually a Murphy bed. So Pluto will keep the Murphy bed safe. So I'm gonna put that back up.
Easy peasy, no help required. I could do it one-handed. It's, it's not a heavy thing to do. You don't have to worry about the table. It automatically folds itself down and unfolds itself. It's great. And on the side of the table by the door, you have even more power ports and another storage cubby. Okay, now we're standing by the bed. And again, on the, that side, there's more power ports. That light switch is for the other lamp over there. Like I have that lamp on, that light switch will turn that lamp on. So the way this door works, there's this is a sliding door. So you can close off this area. So if somebody's changing, but somebody needs the restroom, so this whole section partitions off and then the bathroom itself section like partitions off. So then you have a little closet storage. I have a few things hanging up and some cubbies down below. You have an ironing board and in here is your iron and hair hair up uh, hair dryer. I was going to say hair blower. Um, extra shelving some towels, you have shelving down below, you have a lot of counter space. Then they keep replacing my soap, which is nice, so they left me a fresh soap today. And then this is the bathroom itself. And again, this is another sliding door situation. And you do have the full length mirror. Hi, hello, how are you? And it does lock. So like just cause it slides doesn't mean it doesn't lock, it does lock. Okay, and then you have some towels, commode, bathtub. And it does have both the, rain, the rainfall shower head and it has the handheld shower head as well. And then it has the wall mounted H2O products. And I have been using the conditioner and it's actually pretty nice. It's, I don't think it's as good as the conditioner I have at home, but for travel conditioner, it's pretty nice. So that concludes my hotel and room tour. So this was at the Pop Century Hotel. Um, I love it. I love staying at this hotel. You know, I used to stay at the All Star Hotels, but the thing with the all-stars, there's three of them. There's all-star sports, movies, and music, and they're all right next to each other. So the buses used to run in a way where they would stop at all three hotels, and it would take forever to get back, and then a bus would be full, and you'd have to wait for the next bus, and then that bus would, like, it just, it was, it, it was stressing me out. So then they built Pop Century, and it was another value resort, I was like, let me give it a try. It's the same concept of like these over the top, oversized theming, exterior facing doors, you know, things like that. It's very similar in concept, but it, it, it feels elevated. It feels a notch above it's not, it's not a moderate resort. So don't say, like, don't confuse it with like, say like Caribbean beach or Port Orleans or anything like those are another notch up, but like comparing the all-star resorts to pop, I feel like this has a little extra. And then after I started staying here a few times, then they announced they were building the Skyliner. And now with the Skyliner, it's just like, this is great. This is, this is so convenient, it's so easy to get to Epcot and Hollywood Studios. Love it. it. It's so nice. It's so, so convenient and comfortable. And this is like the best bed I've slept on in a long time. This is like super, super comfortable. The pillows for, are like perfect for me. They're like not too soft, not too firm. They're right in the middle and they gave me a ton of pillows. So. It's, I've gotten some good night's sleep while here. So with that, I am done for today and I'll see everybody tomorrow. And until then, stay inspired by everyone. Take care.